such a big tractor that it wouldn't have a comparable cut to the zero turn, but honestly, as long as the blades are sharp on this, I don't really see much of a difference. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a good one for you guys. We're gonna be doing a mower comparison. I think you guys will like this one. This is two premium mowers head to head. On the one side, we got the Z970R zero turn mower, 72 inch deck. And then on the other side, we got the John Deere 3R series with the 72 inch deck. So today we're gonna be doing a comparison video the tractor versus a zero turn and hopefully if you watch this if you're in the market for either one of these or you're debating whether you want a tractor or a zero turn hopefully this can help you out what works for my property might not work for yours so uh, we'll give you the pros and cons of each in the eyes of us and uh, hopefully that helps you out with your deciding factor going over the z970r First things first, this uh, model brand new in 2023 is going to cost you about $20,000. You might be able to get them a little bit cheaper, you might spend a little bit more depending on what configurations you get. Whether or not you get the 72 inch deck, maybe you get the 60 inch mulch on demand deck, maybe you get rather regular tires or maybe you get wheels. So I'll uh, figure $20,000 give or take if you're getting the Z970R brand new. Uh, now, if you're looking in the used market, you might pay somewhere between $13,000 to $15,000 for a used Z970R, one or two years old, uh, with lower hours. One of the pros to the zero turn over the tractor is the ease of cleaning. Once you're done mowing and uh, ready to put this thing away, you get your blower out, you can blow off the spindles, you can lift this up or take, take this out completely and blow the center out you got easy access to your fill tank and you have easy access to your oil now on top of that this also has some hydraulics this has the hydraulic lift deck so if you want to lift your deck up you just push this button in here as the track when the tractor's turned on and then if you want to lower it you just release it side here you have a PTO switch so if your PTO is turned on when you want to turn that off you don't have to take your hands off uh, of these all you have to do is push this button and that'll shut your PTO off super easy another one of the pros of having the zero turn over a tractor is the amount of attachments that you can get with it this one has a shoot blocker on it uh, you can get a multitude of attachments for this you can get a leaf collection system a grass collection system or whatever you call it I've never ran those so I'm not too familiar with them but essentially a bag comes off the back of the zero turn and you can connect it down here to your right side and it'll blow all your grass clippings or the leaves up into that instead of blowing it out into your yard. There may be some attachments like that for the tractor but something tells me that they're less less common and uh, probably more of a local buy as something that's a little bit more consistent with the zero turns. Going over here to the 3R series Starting price for a 3R series, this is the 3046R, is about 
$39,000. Now, if you go down to a 3033R open station, that'll be a little bit cheaper. The 3039R will be a little bit cheaper. Uh, $39,000 just to get the 3046R open station with no attachments. If you throw uh, the mower deck on there, it's going to be a couple thousand more. So you're looking at 40 grand plus to get a tractor, 3R series tractor with the deck. Now, right off the bat, if you have a large property and you're only doing mowing, you're going to spend a whole lot more getting a tractor like this than you would with a zero turn. Now, if you have a large property and you have a couple different chores that you have to do, maybe, you know, initial thoughts, this is going to be a better choice for you, depending on what you value. Um, if you value your cut time and how much time you're spending out there on the lawn, the zero turn is going to be the benefit if you like spending less time mowing your grass. If you want to get out of the house and you like time on the tractor, uh, this is going to take you much longer in most circumstances. If you're mowing an open field, 100 yards of just open straight field, maybe this will be nearly as fast as the zero turn or it'll be a little bit of a difference, you know, to where it's, you know, it's not that much longer. But if you're doing anything where you have turns or hills or obstacles, you're going to be spending a whole lot more time mowing with a tractor than you are with a zero turn. Now, one of the perks of buying a tractor is you can get something with a cab, um, and then pretty much all of them are the hydraulic lift decks. This deck is lifted up by a push of a button. It is synced in to my hydraulics and it's controlled right here off the joystick. So obviously bottoms down up is up for the deck. If you opt to go with a tractor with a cab, you'll be in the air conditioning or in the heat if it's the early spring or late, late fall. So that is a huge benefit. We're gonna do a comparison here. Uh, we're gonna do a stripe down and a stripe back. Both of the, the mowers have 72 inch decks so we're gonna compare the amount of time it takes. We're gonna go the same distance, go down, turn around, come back. We're gonna see what the time difference is between the tractor and the zero turn. We got two stripes done with the tractor. Now let's go hit up the zero turn here. And then we'll talk about each.
So right off the bat, I can tell you the zero turn was much quicker. We'll have the exact times listed down below. It looks to me like it's maybe a half an inch shorter. So maybe about three inches here on the left and the right is going to be three and a half inches. Now we could have brought this up if we would have lifted the deck up, it'd probably be about three and a half, maybe four inches. So off the bat, both of the cuts look very similar. I see no difference other than the cut height. You might see a little bit of coloration differences in the cuts and the zero turn cut height honestly looks a little bit better to me. Or cut quality, I'm sorry. It's pretty much the same on both of these. So speed wise, zero turn was faster on these two stripes. Tractor, more comfortable. All right, so here is the bottom half of this field. This is about 100 yards long, maybe 30, 40 yards wide. So we did the bottom half here with the tractor, and now we'll do the top half with the zero turn.
right, we're all finished up mowing now. Zero turn did the right side. Tractor did the left side mode. Now there's uh, one thing that's not fair in the comparison. The tractor still has this attached to the mower deck. I don't know what you call that, a deflector, a chute, whatever the terminology is. If you guys know it, please let me know. But uh, the tractor has still has this on it. The zero turn does not have that. It's just an open chute, so it blows the grass clippings out much further. So it would have been a little bit more of a fairer comparison if we would have taken this thing off or just lifted it up. But you'll see here that the grass clumped up a little bit because of that. It wasn't blowing it very far. Zero turn did not have that issue. As you can see, uh, pretty much above this line here, the zero turn did everything spread out very evenly. Here's where the tractor was mowing. You can see it clumped it up. So going over the pros of the tractor, in my opinion, again, if you have a flat property, you don't have to do a lot of obstacles, a large property, a tractor is going to be better for you. And that's not, I'm not just talking about a 3R series with a 72 inch deck. Um, you know, I'm talking about maybe a 1 series tractor or a 2 series, a small 2025R or 2032R. Um, a tractor might be better for you if you just have open property, not a lot of obstacles, and you're going to be using the bucket, you might be using the rear PTO for other attachments. If you're just strictly worried about mowing and getting it done in the quickest time possible, and having probably a little bit better of a cut quality, zero turn is where it's at. Um, that was probably twice as fast, if not faster, than this tractor. Zero turn consumes quite a bit more fuel than the tractor. This uh, 970R has a 11.5 gallon gasoline tank. This 970R is gasoline. You can step up into the 994R or the 997 and get it the similar mower in diesel. 3046R is a diesel tractor and it holds 13.5 gallons. This is going to get you a lot further than the zero turn. Both the zero turn and the tractor have some sort of premium seat. This one has the Comfort Glide seat, moves back and forth and up and down. You dial your weight in. The tractor has the air ride seat. Both of them have 72 inch decks. This one has a chute blocker on it. It has no deflector on it or whatever you call this piece that comes off the side of the tractor. I'm talking about this thing right here. The tractor does not have a chute blocker. So if you're coming up to your mulch beds and it's blowing out to your right, there's no way to close this deck off. Price point, you're spending about 20 grand, maybe 18 on the low end, 22 on the higher end for a Z970R brand new. For John Deere 3R series, you're probably starting out around 34, 35 for an open station cab. Then you throw the mower deck on, that's probably another five grand. So at a minimum, you know, maybe for a 30, 33R brand new open station, you're looking at about $40,000 or double the price of a zero turn. So if you're only mowing, this is going to probably be the best choice for you. If you're mowing, but you also have to do a little bit of loader work, spread some gravel, spread some dirt, or you need to hook a brush hog up, a tiller, then the tractor's going to be for you. We do a little bit of everything around here. Uh, so if we only had to own one piece of equipment, this would probably be it. The zero turn wouldn't be able to spread our gravel for us, etc. plow the snow. So if you're looking for one piece of equipment, this is the jack of all traits. This is only going to cut grass for you. If you have a lot of trees like we do, if you run them with the tractor, you got to make sure you don't run into the branches. Um, if you run them with the zero turn, you would have the same issue if you had the ROPS up. You don't want to hit a branch with your ROPS and it flip your, your zero turn up. Um, if you're running pretty much an open field, you don't have to worry about that, obviously. Uh, then you can go a little bit faster with the tractor. I did notice in the tall grass that the tractor bogged down quicker than the zero turn did. This thing could still go pretty much full out and cut grass. So, Rambo, what's your thoughts on it, buddy? 
in conclusion, zero turn for our property is the way to go. If you're similar to us where you have seven acres, you got hills, trees, etc. cetera, um, the tractor may not be the best option for you for mowing. Um, if you have to start out with one piece of equipment, this will absolutely get the job done. It's just gonna take you much longer to do. But you do have the benefit of having the loader and attachments on the rear as well if you purchase the tractor. So if you need to get one piece of equipment, this is probably gonna be what I would do. Um, if you have the ability to save up, get a zero turn, uh, that'll help you know save a lot of time with your mowing the grass. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer for you. Again, this is comparing the 3R series versus uh, Z970R, both pretty premium, uh, you know, tractors and zero turns. This is a commercial zero turn mower, and this tractor is built for much larger properties. Now, this comparison, you know, like I said, we're we're comparing more expensive models, but it goes the same to say, you know, if you would buy a smaller tractor, 1025R and maybe a 7 series zero turn or a lawn mower versus a 5 series zero turn or a 3 series zero turn it's pretty much the same thing you're going to have less mobility with the tractor but you're going to have more options uh, and more tasks you can complete with it as opposed to the zero turn so hope you guys enjoyed watching if you enjoy this type of footage stay tuned click subscribe and like the video thank you